and happy Monday. It's the 31st of October today. Uh, happy Halloween to you all. I have been super busy today so far. This morning I woke up later than I had planned. Woke up, my alarm went off and I was just like, there's no way. Snoozed it and snoozed it a little too many times and got up much later than I wanted to do because I am a busy, busy panda this week. So I had my breakfast of a coffee and a bacon sandwich, which was super, super yummy. I'm so out of the habit of filming, so I completely forgot to film it, but I did take a picture, so I'll insert it so you can see. And it was delicious, very yummy. And then I did a little bit of work while I was eating that, and then I headed over to the gym. I think it was about, yeah, about a 40 minute workout. And I did 15, 20 minutes on the treadmill and I ran as much as it as I ran as much of it as I could and I was quite happy with the amount that I ran I really really pushed myself today and then I went on the bike for a little bit and then I just did some sort of weights um I did worked on my legs I did the leg press I did the seated row I did the lateral pull down um and yeah, really good. I am certainly paying more attention to weight training at the moment. I've got this sort of like thing in my head where I'm thinking if I gain more muscle, my BMR will go up. And at the moment, my BMR is literally on the ground. It is so bad. So that's one thing that I am going to take through into November and just see if I can work on that a little bit more. Um, but yes, it is Monday today, it is almost a new month and over the last week I have been sort of making sure that I'm getting back into a routine of healthy habits and just my mindset really. I'm working more on my mindset than anything else at this moment in time. I feel like that is the thing that's let me down. Um, I hate to use the word let down because I do think I have made progress and although there isn't progress to show on the scale there is something to be said for you know everything every sort of like moment that i have gone right i'm going to restart and do this or i'm going to have a refresh or i'm going to try this or i'm going to do that it's all a learning experience and i've learned so much from them individual times which I do reflect on and do think well you know this was what worked in that time this didn't work that time and yeah it's just a bit I'm just delving a little bit into my mind and sort of my thought process to towards food and exercise and that kind of thing and yeah this last week it's not been it's not been totally perfect but I think overall I've eaten I've eaten really well and I have been to the gym, I went to the gym twice last week and I went on a walk, which, you know, isn't the most amazing, but it's definitely a step in the right direction in comparison to sort of the previous month or so. Um, yeah, so I, I have weighed in today. Last week I hopped on the scale. So obviously Monday is now my weighing day. Previously I had it as Friday. But I moved it to Monday because I noticed um, one of the things I sort of reflected on and thought, do you know what, that might be like a, a little thing that I can change that might make all the difference. And I moved my weighing day from Friday to Monday because I kind of got into the habit of getting to being really good Monday through to Friday. And then the weekend would come around and I'd be like, okay, I can take my foot off the pedal now. Um, I've had my way in. So that's fine, I can, you know, do what, what I want now and then sort of pick up the slack on Monday. But in essence, what I was uh, what I was doing was completely crazy. I was basically um, creating a deficit and working really, really, really hard throughout them weeks. Um, and then the weekend would come around and I would just balance it back out. And it seems madness to spend you know, four days really pouring your heart and your soul into this journey and then completely wrecking it on the weekend. So that's one thing that I've certainly started to think a lot more about. 
but I think, you know, there's a lot of my mindset that has changed and a lot of things that I am working on changing. I think one of the things that I have started to do over the last couple of weeks, and I'm really enjoying this so far, is that rather, I used to get in, well, I, I got into a habit of making my like meals as low calorie as possible. So there'd probably be about two, 200 calories for breakfast, 200 to 300 calories for lunch, and then a bit more of a substantial dinner. But I think what I was doing was having the really low calorie breakfast and lunch, and then compensating for that with snacks. So because I wasn't sort of satisfied with the meal, and I wasn't, my body wasn't satisfied with the amount of energy, I was just sort of like, thinking okay well I've done really well there so now I can have this protein bar or I can have this hummus and crackers and whatever and in essence the snacks were making up the majority of sort of like my calories it was more than what my breakfasts and what my lunches were so now I'm sort of in the headspace of well have a really yummy breakfast and lunch and dinner like don't don't worry about the sort of calories so much. Just have something substantial that one tastes really good and you're really satisfied from the taste of it and it's got incorporating all the things that you love about food. Um, obviously don't overdo it, don't go overboard thinking right I'm gonna have, like for instance this morning I had a bacon sandwich and you know weighed out the bread that had the butter, the bacon, blah blah blah. And I didn't think, oh, I'm having a bacon sandwich, so I'll have like two. I just thought, no, I'm gonna have this, and then I'm gonna go to the gym and do my workout, and it's all good. So that's kind of something I'm getting into the habit of trying to do. Not compensate for the lack of food I've had at breakfast and lunch and dinner with snacks and, and food around it. Make more of a substantial meal, and hopefully that'll keep me satisfied in all the different areas until the next meal. Obviously, if I am really hungry, I'm gonna listen to my hunger and, and appropriately eat, that, eat a snack, but um, I'm, it's not like a rule that I'm not eating snacks. I've just noticed that when I'm making my my meals more substantial I don't seem to be like reaching for something else after so that's been working really well I don't know did I I'm like literally so out of the loop with filming and what I've told you and what I need to tell you and all that stuff so you're gonna have to forgive these next couple of days as I'm sort of like weaning myself back into filming but I have started HelloFresh and I am at Absolutely loving it. I think this is going to be my fourth week, fourth or fifth week this week, and it's really funny because when I when I sort of signed up and looked at the meals, there was part of me that kind of went, oh, because some of the lower lowest sort of calorie meals that are on there are sort of between six and seven hundred calories, and in my head I was like. Oh, it's quite a lot and I don't know why I thought that because it really really isn't and I think prior to doing HelloFresh the meals that I were cooking um, for myself and Jim were much higher than what I was actually logging I did weigh out things like my rice and stuff like that but I think when it comes down to a pinch of this a splash of this and blah 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 I don't think they were as accurately logged as I could be. So I think probably I was underestimating a good majority of my evening meals anyway. So I just thought, you know what, just try it. That's, you know, all we can do in life is give something a try. If it works, fab. If it doesn't, so what, you know? You've gained the knowledge that it doesn't work. So yeah, third, third, fourth, fourth week, I think it is. I don't know, let me have a look. So I get my HelloFresh meals delivered every Monday and they see me through to Friday. However, I do think that I'm going to do it Monday to, sorry, did I say Friday? I meant Monday to Thursday, but I think I'm gonna start doing it Monday to Friday and um, I have, have a HelloFresh meal as a family on the Friday. Um, 
because it's it's working really well there's so so many positive things that have come out of this HelloFresh experience so far one of the main things is that the meals are delicious and I am like over the moon with the flavors and sort of how I'm learning much like a much diverse culinary sort of experience than what I was doing before don't get me wrong I do I can cook some quite tasty meals and but I think it's just I just got into a routine of like stir fry chicken rice and veg and it was just I think it was getting a bit bland and a bit boring so yeah it's really 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 yummy and today let me have a look so the meals that i have for this week are my menu uh in fact i'm going to show you the meals that i've got later on when um when i make tea i'll go through the recipe cards with you uh but yeah it's just it's just brilliant i think some like i said one of the main positives out of it is the like flavors and how delicious they are another good thing is that it is portion controlled and that's a great thing for me because i think i i think i overestimate um either too much or too little of foods so it's really helping sort of like because it's all portioned out and it's ready to go um and that's really good and there's no waste that's another good thing because i was finding that i would go shopping and think i'm gonna make a meal like a stir fry buy all the ingredients for it only use half of them and then i wouldn't sort of think to include them into another meal and blah 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 blah, blah. so yeah it's working really 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 well so last week i had um hello fresh every evening now if you're not following me on instagram I do post pretty much daily now my meals on there so if you're interested if I'm not sort of like filming that day and you want to sort of see what meals I'm cooking or you know what I'm getting up to that day I'm at the wellness panda with a, a dot in between each word um i had the most incredible roast dinner yesterday um i will you know toot my own trumpet about roast dinners because i think i'm pretty good at cooking them and it's one of them things where before i would think oh god it's like quite a calorific meal it's quite carb heavy you know so i would think oh okay well i'll just have the protein and some veg and then like a, a tiny amount of mash pot who wants to live their life like that who wants to live their life having a roast dinner that doesn't include yorkshire pudding stuffing and all the goodness it just has to all be there for in order for it to be a proper roast for me so yesterday i was like i'm gonna have everything on my roast dinner and a decent amount of each so i had an omelette for my breakfast um i had it quite late actually and then i went on a walk and came back but i I wasn't feeling like super hungry but I think in my head I was like I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have like a really big dinner so I think I was just anticipating that and I didn't really want to sort of ruin it by um eating uh, too much before it so yeah it was super super yummy for lunches I got into a bit of a thing with chicken caesar salads this week for my lunches i've really was just craving the taste of the lettuce and the bacon and the mayo it i just i don't know it just came into my head i went i popped into sainsbury's on the way home from the gym one day and i needed to pick up a couple of things and i thought Do you know what i'm really craving a chicken caesar salad so rather than think oh i'll get a chicken caesar salad sandwich or something like that and have it there and then i've I decided that I was going to have it for lunch the next day. So got the ingredients, made it, didn't sort of scrimp on anything, didn't think how can I make this as low calorie as possible, just got all the ingredients that I wanted to get. And you know what? It actually wasn't that bad in terms of calories. I was kind of thinking this is going to be ridiculous, but I'm sure it was like three to 350 calories. Um, so it was super low. And yeah, um, 
been having lots of sourdough and eggs and bacon and lots of rice, lots of um, chickpeas, potatoes, all that kind of good stuff. I think one of my favourite meals from last week. I absolutely adored this. This was the stir fried hoisin chicken noodles with pepper, sugar snap peas and cashews. This was 641 calories. And that was just, mm -mm, chef's kiss, chef's kiss, so yummy. Um, I will just quickly show you my week in calories because I just want to point something out that it was not, it was not a perfect week in terms of green ticks every day and some days are considerably over. Like on Tuesday, well on Monday, and Tuesday I was over but Monday by 634 but I kind of decided I'm hungry I want to eat these things so I'm going to eat them but I'm not going to let it stir the course of my week and have every single day over or or another thing that I used to do when I know when I knew that I was going to be over calories is I just wouldn't track and I was kind of like out of mind out of sight but that is complete baloney it's just such a such a bad sort of like way to approach it and that's like a perfect opportunity to move on to my weigh in so last week i stepped on the scales last monday which was the 24th of october and i stepped on the scales at 16 stone one pound which Guys, I don't know. I don't even know what gain that is from... Oh, yes, I do, because it says it right there. Let me have a look. I think the last weigh-in... The last proper weigh-in that I had was maybe 15 stone free. So, yeah, obviously that's, like, almost a stone on which is very frustrating. But I just had to have some idea of where I was at because I was thinking I can't just carry on in this limbo of not knowing, being sort of too scared to weigh in and see what the damage has been over the last couple of months. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to make a, make a change and make a stand and just be like, it's okay that, you know, I knew that I'd put on weight. I knew that I'd put on uh, weight. I just could feel it in my body, but I just didn't want to, I don't think I wanted to be accountable for it. So anyway, last Monday I did, I stepped on scale and that's what the situation was. And then today I weighed in this morning at 15 stone, 7.8. So that is a loss of 7.8 7 um, 7 pounds. So obviously still not perfect and a long way to go, but much better than last Monday's weigh in of 16 stone one. So yeah, this week down 7.8, which is great. Very, very happy with that. And hopefully the same can be said for next week's weigh in. I've just got to sort of like keep keep building up my mental attitude keep working on that keep um striving to do better every day a little bit better every day this is a long journey and it's got so many sort of very variable factors to include in it and it's just got to be done it's just got to be done we've got a couple of months left of this year uh november is upon us tomorrow so i think throughout november i'm going to be working on strength training as much as possible trying to stick with my calorie goal my calorie goal at the moment is 1500 um let me just double check that actually i decided to pop it up just because yeah 1500 i have got a carb goal of 120 but i'm not too i'm not too fussy about it um i'm just trying to make as best carbohydrate sources uh 
carbohydrate choices as possible so rather than having a normal potato I have a sweet potato that kind of thing but I'm not being overly strict I think I think one of the things that I got really really wrong was the fact that I was like so driven by this idea that I've got lipedema and I can't have carbs carbs are the worst thing and I think it was it's that just same old thing of when you when you sort of like put a limit on something you end up craving it more and wanting it more and I think I was just resenting myself my lipedema my weight loss journey and thinking that you know having a sandwich or having some toast was the worst thing in the world and it and it really isn't I know that it's not the best for my health with my inflammation and things like that but moderation is key moderation is key so that's the new attitude that I'm bringing into November is making sure that I stick to my calorie goal that I appreciate and listen to my hunger try and make them free meals breakfast lunch and dinner substantial tasty and healthy and nutritious work out as much as possible strength training like I said and yeah just try and be happy try and live this life as happy as possible because tomorrow is not um guaranteed and I think I, I just want to get to a place where I am happy with me at any stage throughout this journey and that's really difficult because I obviously am not I'm not happy with my appearance with my well not my appearance but my my weight I'm not happy with it I want to change it but I also want to grow to a love like a loving and kind place as well so I've rambled on now for goodness how long and I am so busy with work this week but I am going to try and film as much as possible wanted to come in and come on and do somewhat of a weigh-in checkup and cat catch up um and just say hi happy halloween and yeah i guess i'll be back to show you if i have anything between now and my dinner but i'm just gonna crack on with the heap load of work that i've got to do but happy monday to you all dinner and it was really really yummy we had the creamy spiced chickpea and chicken curry um very very good it's 500 and i want to say 593 calories per portion so really good and like i said earlier i'm going to show you the other meals that i have picked out from the HelloFresh for this week so i've got the crispy cauliflower nuggets with spicy bean stew and sour cream fragrant chicken coconut curry with baby spinach and easy zesty rice and a root vegetable stew with cheesy chia butter and parsnip carrot and potato so very much looking forward to chew all of them and now I'm going to have um, a Yeo Valley honey Greek style yogurt a bit tired so I'm not really getting my words out very well but basically just one of these as a little dessert um, and I am going to end the video here so if you have enjoyed watching please give me a thumbs up to let me know and if you, ha if you haven't done so already hit subscribe and I'll send you all the happy vibes and until next time stay happy healthy and well bye bye